CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 12 Ratio and Proportion Part 3 Exercise 12.2 1. Determine if the following are in proportion A. 15, 45, 40, 120 B. 33, 121, 9, 96 C. 24, 28, 36, 48 D. 32, 48, 70, 210 E. 4, 6, 8, 12 F. 33, 44, 7500 2. Write true T or false F against each of the following statements. A. 16 is to 24 as 20 is to 30. B. 21 is to 6 as 35 is to 10. C. 12 is to 18 as 28 is to 12. Page 256. D. 8 is to 9 as 24 is to 27. E. 5.2 is to 3.9 as 3 is to 4. F. 0 0.9 is to 0 0.36 as 10 is to 4. 3. Are the following statements true? A. 40 persons is to 200 persons is equal to 15 rupees is to 75 rupees. B. 7.5 litres is to 15 litres is equal to 5 kilograms is to 10 kilograms. C. 99 kilograms is to 45 kilograms is equal to 44 rupees is to 20 rupees. D. 32 metres is to 64 metres is equal to 6 seconds is to 12 seconds. E. 45 kilometers is to 60 kilometers is equal to 12 hours is to 15 hours. 4. Determine if the following ratios form a proportion. Also write the middle terms and extreme terms where the ratios form a proportion. A. 25 centimeters is to 1 meter and 40 rupees is to 160 rupees. B. 39 litres is to 65 litres and 6 bottles is to 10 bottles. C. 2 kilograms is to 80 kilograms and 25 grams is to 625 grams. D. 200 millilitres is to 2.5 litres and 4 rupees is to 50 rupees. 12.4 Unitary Method Consider the following situations. Two friends, Reshma and Seema, went to market to purchase notebooks. Reshma purchased two notebooks for 24 rupees. What is the piece of one notebook? A scooter requires two litres of petrol to cover 80 kilometres. How many litres of petrol is required to cover one kilometre? These are examples of the kind of situations that we face in our daily life. How would you solve these? Reconsider the first example. Cost of two notebooks is 24 rupees. Therefore, cost of one notebook is equal to rupees 24 divided by 2, which is equal to 12 rupees. Now, if you were asked to find cost of five such notebooks, it would be rupees 12 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 60 rupees. Reconsider the second example. We want to know how many litres are needed to travel one kilometre. For 80 kilometres, petrol needed is equal to two litres. Therefore, to travel one kilometre, petrol needed is equal to two upon 80, which is equal to one upon 40 litres. Now, if you are asked to find how many litres of petrol are required to cover 120 kilometres, then petrol needed is equal to 1 upon 40 multiplied by 120 litres, 
which is equal to 3 liters. The method in which first we find the value of one unit and then the value of required number of units is known as unitary method. Page 257. Try these. 1. Prepare five similar problems and ask your friends to solve them. 2. Read the table and fill in the boxes. We have a table with three columns. Column 1. Time. Column 2. Distance travelled by Karan. Column 3. Distance travelled by Kriti. Let's read the table. Time. 2 hours. Distance travelled by Karan. 8 kilometres. Distance travelled by Kriti. 6 kilometres. Time. 1 hour. Distance travelled by Karan. 4 kilometres. Distance travelled by Kriti. Dash. Time. 4 hours. Distance travelled by Karan. Dash. Distance travelled by Kriti. Dash. We see that distance travelled by Karan in 2 hours is equal to 8 kilometres. Distance travelled by Karan in 1 hour is equal to 8 by 2 kilometres, which is equal to 4 kilometres. Therefore, Distance travelled by Karan in 4 hours is equal to 4 multiplied by 4 which is equal to 16 kilometres. Similarly, to find the distance travelled by Kriti in 4 hours, first find the distance travelled by her in 1 hour. Example 11. If the cost of 6 cans of juice is 210 rupees, then what will be the cost of 4 cans of juice? Solution. Cost of 6 cans of juice is equal to 210 rupees. Therefore, cost of 1 can of juice is equal to 210 divided by 6, which is equal to 35 rupees. Therefore, cost of 4 cans of juice is equal to rupees 35 multiplied by 4, which is equal to 140 rupees. Thus, cost of 4 cans of juice is 140 rupees. Example 12. A motorbike travels 220 kilometers in 5 liters of petrol. How much distance will it cover in 1.5 liters of petrol? Solution. In 5 liters of petrol, motorbike can travel 220 kilometers. Therefore, in 1 liter of petrol, motorbike travels equal to 220 divided by 5 kilometers. Therefore, in 1.5 litres, motorbike travels is equal to 220 divided by 5 multiplied by 1.5 kilometres, which is equal to 220 upon 5 into 15 upon 10 kilometres, which is equal to 66 kilometres. Thus, the motorbike can travel 66 kilometres in 1.5 litres of petrol. Example 13. If the cost of a dozen soaps is 153.60 rupees, what will be the cost of 15 such soaps? Solution. We know that one dozen is equal to 12, since cost of 12 soaps is equal to 153.60 rupees. Page 258. Therefore, cost of one soap is equal to 153.60 divided by 12, which is equal to 12.80 rupees. Therefore, cost of 15 soaps is equal to 12.80 into 15 rupees, which is equal to 192 rupees. Thus, cost of 15 soaps is 192 rupees. Example 14. Cost of 105 envelopes is 350 rupees. How many envelopes can be purchased for 100 rupees? Solution. In 350 rupees, the number of envelopes that can be purchased is equal to 105. Therefore, in 1 rupee, number of envelopes that can be purchased is equal to 105 divided by 350. Therefore, in 100 rupees, the number of envelopes that can be purchased is equal to 105 divided by 350 multiplied by 100, which is equal to 30.
Thus, 30 envelopes can be purchased for 100 rupees. Example 15. A car travels 90 kilometers in two and a half hours. A. How much time is required to cover 30 kilometers with the same speed? B. Find the distance covered in two hours with the same speed. Solution A. In this case, time is unknown and distance is known. Therefore, we proceed as follows. Two and a half hours is equal to 5 divided by 2 hours, which is equal to 5 upon 2 into 60 minutes. That is equal to 150 minutes. 90 kilometers is covered in 150 minutes. Therefore, 1 kilometer can be covered in 150 divided by 90 minutes. Therefore, 30 kilometers can be covered in 150 divided by 90 multiplied by 30 minutes. That is 50 minutes. Thus, 30 kilometers can be covered in 50 minutes. B. In this case, distance is unknown and time is known. Therefore, we proceed as follows. Distance covered in two and a half hours, that is, 5 upon 2 hours, is equal to 90 kilometers. Therefore, distance covered in one hour is equal to 90 divided by 5 upon 2 kilometers is equal to 90 multiplied by 2.5, which is equal to 36 kilometers. Therefore, distance covered in 2 hours is equal to 36 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 72 kilometers. Thus, in 2 hours, distance covered is 72 kilometers. Page 259. Exercise 12.3. 1. If the cost of 7 meters of cloth is 1470 rupees, find the cost of 5 meters of cloth. 2. Ekta earns 3000 rupees in 10 days. How much will she earn in 30 days? 3. If it has rained 276 millimeters in the last 3 days, how many centimeters of rain will fall in one full week? That is, 7 days. Assume that the rain continues to fall at the same rate. 4. Cost of 5 kilograms of wheat is 91.50 rupees. A. What will be the cost of 8 kilograms of wheat? B. What quantity of wheat can be purchased in 183 rupees? 5. The temperature dropped 15 degrees Celsius in the last 30 days. If the rate of temperature drop remains the same, how many degrees will the temperature drop in the next 10 days? 6. China pays 15,000 rupees as rent for 3 months. How much does she has to pay for a whole year if the rent per month remains same? 7. Cost of 4 dozen bananas is 180 rupees. How many bananas can be purchased for 90 rupees? 8. The weight of 72 books is 9 kilograms. What is the weight of 40 such books? 9. A truck requires 108 liters of diesel for covering a distance of 594 kilometers. How much diesel will be required by the truck? to cover a distance of 1,650 kilometers. 10. Raju purchases 10 pens for 150 rupees and Manish buys 7 pens for 84 rupees. Can you say who got the pens cheaper? 11. Anish made 42 runs in 6 overs and Anoop made 63 runs in 7 overs. Who made more runs per over? What have we discussed? 1. For comparing quantities of the same type, we commonly use the method of taking difference between the quantities. 2. In many situations, a more meaningful comparison between the quantities is made by using division. That is, by seeing how many times one quantity is to the other quantity. This method is known as comparison by ratio. For example, 
Isha's weight is 25 kilograms and her father's weight is 75 kilograms. We say that Isha's father's weight and Isha's weight are in the ratio 3 is to 1. 3. For comparison by ratio, the two quantities must be in the same unit. If they are not, they should be expressed in the same unit before the ratio is taken. 4. The same ratio may occur in different situations. 5. Note that the ratio 3 is to 2 is different from 2 is to 3. Thus, the order in which quantities are taken to express their ratio is important. Page 260. 6. A ratio may be treated as a fraction. Thus, the ratio 10 is to 3 may be treated as 10 upon 3. 7. Two ratios are equivalent if the fractions corresponding to them are equivalent. Thus, 3 is to 2 is equivalent to 6 is to 4 or 12 is to 8. 8. A ratio can be expressed in its lowest form. For example, ratio 50 is to 15 is treated as 50 upon 15. In its lowest form, 50 upon 15 is equal to 10 upon 3. Hence, the lowest form of the ratio 50 is to 15 is 10 is to 3. 9. Four quantities are said to be in proportion if the ratio of the first and the second quantities is equal to the ratio of the third and the fourth quantities. Thus, 3, 10, 15, 50 are in proportion since 3 upon 10 is equal to 15 upon 50. We indicate the proportion by 3 is to 10, double colon, 15 is to 50. It is read as 3 is to 10 as 15 is to 50. In the above proportion, 3 and 50 are the extreme terms and 10 and 15 are the middle terms. 10. The order of terms in the proportion is important. 3, 10, 15 and 50 are in proportion, but 3, 10, 50 and 15 are not, since 3 by 10 is not equal to 50 by 15. 11. The method in which we first find the value of one unit and then the value of the required number of units is known as the unitary method. Suppose the cost of 6 cans is 210 rupees. To find the cost of 4 cans, using the unitary method, we first find the cost of 1 can. It is 210 divided by 6 rupees or 35 rupees. From this, we find the price of 4 cans as 35 multiplied by 4 rupees or 140 rupees. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6 Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance in Production Soumya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India